Mm. I think uh, a family gathering, you know, if you have um, family members to um, keep memories, capture memories, be a nice idea to have a portrait yeah. or and, a child and, at Christmas. Having a professional do a, a, a portrait as opposed to just having, nice having a camera on a tripod and using the self-timer. Mm -hmm. It's the little nuances that people miss. Mm -hmm. You know, a pole in the background <laughs> or a doorway. Yeah. Just, yeah. I tell people when I photograph them that they're 50% of the picture. Yeah. That the negative space around them is what really makes the picture. Mm -hmm. And I think the digital age the digital age has really become a subject-oriented picture. No one seems to look at what's going on around the subject. Mm -hmm. And it's sad because mm -hmm. if you put the two things together, then you have a work of art rather than just a Xerox mm -hmm. memory. Yeah, so, Can I um, say Xerox? <laughs> do you have any, are you, um, in the future, are you planning on having any other exhibits at these? Uh, art space? There I'm any not out positive. There's a couple things rolling around in my mind, but I really have to finish the interview mm -hmm. with uh, <coughs> the mm -hmm. British publication, which I think is Somo Magazine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can, re you know, I, I never forget a face mm -hmm. or, or what somebody's voice uh -huh. sounds like, but I'm really bad with names. <laughs> So uh, how often do you go out um, and take pictures? Uh, you're known for going around Norwich and taking pictures of everything. whatever, <laughs> yeah, everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, lately it's been with the uh, state of the economy uh, and all, and the change from film to digital. I'm actually shooting digital now, which some of my friends needed oxygen when they heard that. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to spend so much more time promoting mm -hmm. to find mm -hmm. work because everybody's got a camera and mm -hmm. the jury shows it. I entered a show in <laughs> at a gallery in Denver called Camera Obscura <laughs> and I was rejected. They had room for 75 photos and they had four. 1,500 entries. Mm. That's just incredible. Mm. I didn't even feel bad about being rejected. It's just so many entries. Mm. You were on a trip last year, weren't you? Last summer, Around I went to my daughter's wedding, and, and you I were took able Amtrak. To take some nice pictures. Uh, yeah, I went back. from Springfield to Olympia, Washington, and to Flagstaff, and to mm -hmm. Albuquerque. 15 days on Amtrak. Wonderful. Mm. Yeah. I shot 20, 25 rolls of film on that trip. Oh my goodness. Mm. So, um, your subjects that you take pictures of, did you say you tend to, you like to go outdoors and, and take pictures? That's one of your favorite. Um, I like to take pictures pretty much all the time. All the time. <laughs> my friends kid me today. They ask me, you break any ribs rolling mm -hmm. over on your camera while you're sleeping? <laughs> I don't take my camera to bed <laughs> with me. <laughs> uh, yeah, yesterday I was in Stonington Borough. Mm -hmm. Doorways, shooting, I'm shooting entryways, doorways, locks. What are some of the subjects that you can see in your book? Um, the, the, book, pictures. the book is pretty much scenics and people of Willimantic, people mm -hmm. that I ran into every day and develop, and some that I just would come up to. I have a, a talent for making people relax. Mm -hmm. And there's just a, an interesting conversation between me and the pictures, mm -hmm. the people in the pictures. And you can see that. You can see that they know me or conversation is part verb, part words, part mm -hmm. eyes, and part expressions. Mm. And so the book obviously doesn't have the verbal end of it, mm -hmm. but you can see that we communicate. 
that I reached them, that it's mm. more than just a quick snapshot. Mm. Even though some of them only take three or four seconds, mm -hmm. it's just a matter of... So how many cameras do you own? When you came here today, you had a camera Yeah, around. just one with me today. I was traveling light. <laughs> well, when I, I came to visit you, you had cameras all over. Um, yeah, I have... Um, you had quite a few. Five or six Nikons. Oh. Wow. A, a digital Canon. have a couple of old cameras from the 30s. Um, mm. Yeah, that's about it. An Argus C3, which is also from the 30s. So uh, the camera has really developed developed quite <laughs> a bit since uh, Leonardo da Vinci or uh, yeah Edward Degar yeah Edward Degar yeah yeah Edward Weston is another one of my favorite photographers Edward Weston um, when we see what period Eddie Eddie <laughs> we're Ed that close right um, Edward Weston more recently? died in the fifties. I think. So he would be at his peak from the late teens, 20s to the 50s. What types of pictures did he take? He did a lot of nature. He were, um, had a little cabin in Big Sur. Mm -hmm. And he did a lot of nature and a lot of figure studies. There's actually a, a movie that came out two years ago called The Elegant Nude. And it mm. was him and Cherise Wilson who was, she was 19 or 20 when she met mm -hmm. him, and they proceeded to spend the next five, six years together, they got married. They got the first Guggenheim grant for a photographer to tour mm -hmm. the country mm -hmm. and photograph, and that's, the book is about him and her, uh, the book, mm -hmm. the movie is about him and her and their travels and how a muse develops and Jimmy. she's actually was still alive, so she narrates the beginning of it. She's 92 now. And oh it was God. just, it's really a spectacular oh, film. Did you ever have Ansel Adams? Oh, yeah. He was a photographer, wasn't he? Ansel Adams was a real took technician. Nature. He was a real, nature he was a pictures. nature photographer. Uh, there's a, a very famous picture that he, Ansel Adams took of Edward Weston. Oh. They were all from the same genre. Like there was a book at the Otis Library, I believe, that's available. Um, mm -hmm. Ansel mm -hmm. Adams. They both used large format cameras, dark cloth, bellows, producing 8 by 10 inch negatives. Okay. They were really Do quite Do they still wonderful. use that today, the oh, dark yeah. cloth? Is that to, for light? Mm -hmm. um, it's because it keeps the, it, it, the dark cloth over your head lets you see. The ground glass is eight inches by ten inches. Mm -hmm. It's like trying to look at the back of a little digital camera in bright sunlight. You can't see the picture. Okay. Oh, so yeah. the dark cloth is so you can see what's going mm -hmm. on in the image. And you have so to focus upside down. You have pictures like this available though in your studio, don't you? Oh yeah. I have, I have more prints than you can shake a stick at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you had taken some um, pictures um, in Arizona, I believe. And your trip last year, um, Flagstaff, of nature and different subjects there. What were you able to capture on film in um, Arizona and that area? Well, Reese, who hosted my visit there, Reese is coming by train here in a month. Mm -hmm. um, I met Reese on the internet for five years. We've been talking, and finally I got a chance to go visit him, and mm -hmm. we just hit it off. For, we worked with a model in Sonoma in Oak Creek Canyon hmm. for the early part of the day, and then when it and got the to the scenery, be, much different than here. Ah, uh, much different. Yeah, we worked right in the water, right in the river. Oh. and then we went back up to Flagstaff for dinner and wandering the streets and. It was pretty much the same type of stuff I do in uh, Norwich. I but shot a lot of people on the street, a lot of doorways, mm -hmm. little studies of architecture. Did you get to see any of the desert and um, the desert, scenery yeah. in the desert? Mm -hmm. Yeah, capture a completely different type of scenery. It's a whole different world. How about yeah. the Indians? Did you get to capture pictures of any Indians? And I spoke with one Indian in Albuquerque. 
Um, unfortunately, they're not treated really well down there. I see. Um, and it's, it's sad. People yeah. can't seem to get along. Mm -hmm. But you were able to capture um, some pictures of... Yeah, I talked to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. So you're, you're able to... Um, you know, capture a moment and um, put it in a capsule like for a memory. What people sake. tell me about my artwork, not so much the portraiture, but this, for instance, it's part of a story. Hmm. And that people like that so much about my work is that it lets you add your past and your future in it. Mm -hmm. tells part of his story, but it invites the viewer to interpret it and to feel about it. And yep, viewers always will do that with every image. Mm -hmm. But a couple of friends who are sculptors tell me that that's what that's really what I do. Yeah, it's so a beautiful well. picture there. Where did you say that was taken? In East again? Haddam. Oh, in East Haddam. That's yeah, taken that's with like a twenty millimeter lens, which is extremely wide angle. Mm -hmm. Put a red filter on it, pops the clouds out. Yeah. The, um, the sun, the, 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 the sky in the background is it's really beautiful. The clouds look so different there. Was that, a, uh, was that at sunset or? It was at sunset. It was. And it was 2003. I don't remember the uh, tropical storm's name, but it was the day before the tropical storm oh, hit. Oh, goodness. Yeah. And it was quite fun being out in the uh, woods for a tropical store. Mm -hmm. Well, Peter, I want to thank you so much for being my guest on my show today. And um, I wish you much success in the future with your photography. Thank you. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was very good. If people pop by my website, <laughs> they can find out yeah, where I'm I, showing. I yes, if you'd like to um, contact um, Peter, he has a website www.peterjcrowley.com and he has exhibits at Art Space at 35 Chestnut Street. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, let's talk about history. <laughs>
in the preservation of the Norwich history um, with his um, uh, help in uh, getting Norwich Warrigan renovated.